So in this video, we're going to learn how to print that star in that given format. So this is that format and we're going to enter that in runtime number of rows, how many rows we need. So since we have given here five, so if we go and see that, so we have one, two, three, four and five. So five rows, we're going to enter that. So for this one, uh, we will learn that how that do going to work so first we'll go to code and then i will come back to here so first thing as we see we have to take that number of flow in runtime so what we going to do as we know we need to put that suppose i put that in integer as in so first i need input format is there so input and what i'm going to do enter that number number of roads and then one space and then first we'll try to do that and then we will see how it's going to work or not so see now it's open it here so now it's prompt us to ask that user to enter that how many number of rows so if you enter three so it's going to work like this one so now we'll go back now we enter that number of n so if you aware that since it's going to give us in a string value so we need to convert it to integer so i put that integer this one i explained in my python basic i will explain all those things details so if you're not aware you can go ahead and look into that playlist so now we have number of n and if you go to what is that we need to do so first thing we done it in print that number of rows now we need to do that print of this rows so how are we going to do it so what I'm going to do now, we need loop for i in range. So let me start with zero or see first time since we're going to enter directly by default, it's going to start with this zero. So I put that till n. So now if you put that here, print i just for the testing purpose and if we run this one suppose if i enter three so we getting that it's for loop going to work and it's going to print three times for this one so now but in our scenario we need to print that a star first time one second time to start so we need that one more loop so here what we'll go we'll enter that for j range so this one we will start with zero and we'll go till i plus one so as i enter here so we went till i plus one and we can do it and then we'll try to print that and since here we're going to print at a star put that a star to print it and then what we need we need that in plus two some space we need and then here we need to print new line so i put that printer so now if i go ahead and run this one so now if i enter five you saw that it's one two three four and five times it's printed at the same thing whatever we need it here same output we got it so now we'll try to understand how this for loop function is working and it's printing it out so for i in range of n a range also I explained that range function in my Python basic playlist so you can go ahead and watch it there. So now first thing that's why I put it here for i here and j equals to 0 plus 1 and this is used inside the range so when i start with 0 by default and it will go till n so n we have given 5. So we know that in range it's not going to touch that end point so it's a start with 0. So when i equals to 0, so we have 0 plus 1. So it will go 0 and 1. j value will be 0 and 1. And in range, it's not going to touch that last point, maximum value. It's only before to this. So first time 0 and 0. So only one time it's print here. So we got it 1. Here similarly, if it's 1, then we'll get that 2. But last one is not going to include it. So we got 0 and 1. So we got 2 times. And similarly, here we got that output 
by 1, 2, 3 and 4. So 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So it's 5 times. So it's printing here 5 times. That's why we got it here. And this print and this end space blank. So it's going to just print at one extra space in all of them. And this print line, uh, once we'll come out of this inner for loop, then it's need to go to next line. That's why we use that print. So I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe if you like this video.